up, you can make broccoli sprouts in your kitchen with no dirt, no hassle in one to two minutes a day and be done in about seven days. It is easy. I'll show you how it's done. All you need is three things. You just need a mason jar and then the strainer lid and then the seeds. It's easy. It's so easy. It's so easy. Yeah, yeah. One of the reasons you want to grow broccoli sprouts is because they're dense with nutrients, cancer-fighting nutrients. They have sulforaphane, which is 50 times more potent than a mature broccoli branch. Here's our mason jar. You get two tablespoons of sprouts. And then I heat up hot water. It's not boiling, but it's quite hot. It just wakes them up. Hello, wake up. Time to grow. And that's what they look like. And then just put the strainer on and then you're good to go. How are you guys? So these seeds now had their warm bath and their nap and they're ready to go. All you're going to do is put the lid on if you haven't put it on already and then shake, 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 shake out the water two, three times. And then you will have a space in your kitchen with uh, no direct sunlight. I put it underneath my cabinet against the wall and you'll want to put a plate underneath so the extra water can drain out. And there are four feet on the strainer lid. You're going to have them uh, stand on two of them because you want that excess so you can get some air circulation so they can breathe. And I put mine up against the wall in case it falls down. I actually have this tray that I like, so if it does fall down, it more or less catches it. Aren't they so cute? They look like little tadpoles with their tails. It's morning time. All you do is you just throw some water in there to cover them, swish them around, and then shake, shake, shake two, three times, and then stand them back up on their two feet on the plate. There you go. And notice that um, I get up in the morning, go to bed at night, and I... That's when I take care of my little babies. And yeah, I don't have pets or kids. Hey guys, looking good. Oh, day four, you can see that their little tails are growing through the lid. Uh, when you bathe them in the morning, they will, you'll throw some water in and they'll just fall down um, into the jar, shake it around, chick, 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 and do the same thing at night. Now you can see the little yellow leaves in it. This is day five. Now it's time to go out in the sunshine. I put the, um, put a tray out in the windowsill in the kitchen and then Tilt these guys up on their feet. There you go. And then just rinse at night. Day six, after a day of sunshine, they're looking good. They're turning green. They can even get greener. What I do now is, you can't eat them now, but you see all those brown things? Those are the holes. Now I'm going to take those out and I'll show you how that's done. Okay, this is dense. I'm also going to transfer this into two jars. I'm using muscles here. That is what that looks like. Okay, now we're going to flood this with water. So notice it's white down here, green on the top. So right now you can see that these little brown guys, these are the holes are floating to the top. So I'm just gonna push, push. I'm just gonna flow them over. So those are the seed holes. And now I'm just gonna put some more water in. Gonna agitate and have the holes come up to the top again. Okay, hey, that's looking good. I'm gonna rinse out my jar. Now they're all fluffed up. I'm gonna get the other ones to have green, green up leaves. Just like that. And then I'm gonna give them opportunity to get green again and I'll eat from them when I want to. Then I'll put them back in the windowsill for a day or two because maybe not all of them got green, so I'll give them an opportunity. And now they're now they're in a different position, so they some of the guys who are like light colored could get more dark. And that's it. Now, if you're wondering, are they moldy? You can smell them if they're moldy. They don't smell good. And also, when you rinse them, when if they don't bounce back after six uh, six hours or so, if they're kind of mushy ish, then they're moldy, and you can you know compost them. And when you like after that last day then put them in the refrigerator. They're not going to, they are going to mold if they're hanging out after they're ripe. So put them in the fridge and they'll last a week or so. So happy broccoli sprouts to you.